before we pray isse pehle ki prarthna kare i just want to mention to us one thing ek baat kehna chahta hu the man of god the apostle paul said in his last days aur parmeshwar ka jan prerit polus usne apne antim dino mein kaha many will turn away from the truth aur sachai se bahut se log vimukh ho jayenge and they would love to hear aur ve sunna pasand karenge fables katha kahaniyon ko i'd like to just read that scripture main un vachano ko padhna chahta hu before we pray isse pehle ki prarthna karu and turn, turn to god's word aur parmeshwar ke vachan और उसके मनन के लिए बोले सेकंड तिमोथी चैप्टर फोर दूसरा तिमोथी की पत्र टाइम विल कम ऐसा समय आएगा when they will not endure sound doctrine ve hari shiksha nahi se but after their own lust jabki lal sakte shall they heap to themselves teachers apne liye shiksha ka dher having eating ears apne kano ki khujli ke karan and they shall turn away their ears from the truth सच्चाई से वे मुड़ जाएंगे एंड शाल बी टर्न ऑन द फेबल्स और कथा कहानियों के ऊपर मन लगाएंगे द टाइम विल कम समय आएगा दे विल नॉट एंड योर साउंड डॉक्ट्रिन खरी शिक्षा ना सुन सकेंगे बट आफ्टर देयर ओन लस शाल दे हीप टू देमसेल्व्स टीचर्स हैविंग ईचिंग इयर्स उनके लालसा के कारण अपने लिए शिक्षकों को ढेर एंड दे शाल टर्न अवे their ears from the truth aur sachai se ve apne kano ko mudenge kano ki khujli ke shall be turned on to fables aur katha kahaniyon ki aur mud jayenge you know i am reminded of these words spoken by the man of god a w tozer a w tozer jo ki parmeshwar ka and i want to quote it main unke baaton ko it's hard for me to accept the fact ye mere liye kathin hai satya ko swikar karna that it is now rare for anyone ye kisi ke liye bhi viral ya durlabh hai to come to the house of god ki parmeshwar ke bhavan mein aaye with god completely down aur parmeshwar ke prati puri tarah jhuke hue head bowed sir jhukaye hue and silent confession aur shant agikar ke sath Dear Lord, ke pray, pray, Prabhu. I am ready and willing. Oh, I am ready and willing. I am ready and willing. To hear what you will speak to my heart today. Ki jo tu kahe aur tujhe main sun sakun. This is what the man of God says. Or ye Parmeshwar ke jan ne kaha. He says it's hard for me to accept the fact that. Ye tat swikar karne. It is now rare for anyone to come to the house of God with God. completely down aur ye durlabh hai ki kisi ke liye bhi their defense aana aur parmeshwar ke ye puri tarah niche in other words head bowed and with silent confession aur sir jhuka kar dear lord shant angika i am ready and willing ki main to hear what you will speak to my heart today ki mere ya main hriday se and he goes on to say sun sakun we have become so learned aage kehta hai ki hum tum buddhiman ho gaye ho so worldly aur bahut hi sansarik ho gaye ho so sophisticated bahut hi anubhavi ho gaye ho so blase aur virakt ho gaye ho that word blase or blase jo shabd hai means unimpressed ki jis pe koi asar na ho with or indifferent to something because aur kuch one has experienced aur cheezon ke prati udaasi hona or seen it so often before aur ya kisi vyakti vishesh ke anubhav so he uses that very strong word he he, he says we have become so learned aur usne kaha ki hum so worldly so sophisticated sansarik ho gaye hain so blase aur bahut hi asar means vihin ho gaye so unimpressed with or indifferent to something because one has experienced aur or seen it so often before 
कि हमने अनुभव कर लिया है सो बोर्ड और आने लगे हैं सो रिलीजियसली थायर्ड धार्मिक रूप से थक गए हैं सो रिलीजियसली थायर्ड धार्मिक रूप से थक गए हैं दैट द क्लाउड्स ऑफ ग्लोरी सीम्स टू हैव गॉन फ्रॉम अस ये महिमा का बादल हमको छोड़ के चला गया ऐसा प्रतीत दैट द क्लाउड्स ऑफ ग्लोरी महिमा का बादल सीम्स टू हैव गॉन फ्रॉम अस ये हमसे हमें छोड़ के चला गया एंड दे फॉर आई वांट टू जस्ट रिमाइंड आवर सेल्स और हम आपको रिमेंबर वी आर कम टू द लिविंग गॉड और हम जीवित परमेश्वर के पास आए हैं Lord I am ready to hear. Oh Prabhu main taiyar hu sunne ke liye. Willing to hear. Ek chup ho sunne ke liye. What you will speak to my heart today. Ke tu aaj mujhse kya kehna chahta hai. Are we so learned? Kya hum vid budhiman ya Are we so worldly? Ya sansarik hai? Are we so sophisticated? Ya anubhav se utprot hai? So blase aur asarheen hai? That we are unimpressed. और कि हम पे कोई असर ही नहीं होता और वी आर इनडिफरेंट और उदासीन है बिकॉज वी हैव हर्ड दिस वर्ड क्योंकि ये वचन हमने पहले सुना है वी आर ऑफन वी हैव सीन थिंग्स और अक्सर थिंग्स और वचन पढ़ते हैं और देखते हैं आर वी सो बोर्ड सो रिलीजियसली टायर्ड हम उगता गए हैं और धार्मिक रूप से थक गए हैं that the clouds of glory has departed our lives ye mahima ka badal humse ud gaya hai you know i really thank god for this man of god aur parmeshwar ke is jan ke liye dhanyawad whose words are so relevant for the times in which we are living aur jis samay mein hum reh rahe hain us samay ke liye you know so it's my prayer char parat ka sangeet hai the lord will really help us this morning aaj ke subah parmeshwar mari sahayata kare as we come to the lord jaise hum prabhu ke paas aate hain to meditate upon god's word and Or hear from him uske vachno pe hum manan karte hain prabhu sahayata kare let's pray prabhu heavenly father we thank you for granting us this precious day in your great mercies You have given us yet another opportunity O God to come to thee and to thy house the house of the living God to meet with the one who is true and faithful and living We thank you for granting us moments of worship times to bring our confessions our adoration a worship unto the lord this morning thank you for ministering to all of us as we waited in your presence of oh god every ministration of thy spirit we have received into our hearts lord lord as we come around your word It's our prayer to God that in your great mercies you will quiet in our hearts that you would help us to detach ourselves from everything that is around us that in humility of our spirits Lord we may come unto you that we may be taught of your holy spirit receive those things your holy spirit would bring to our understanding help us therefore to be actively alive to the work of thy spirit this morning to the whisperings to the nudgings 
to the enlightening work of thy spirit of God. That we may not be so learned We may not be so religiously tired We may not be so blasé Help us God this morning That we would experience the power of Your Holy Spirit in our lives Help each one of us therefore Oh God help us You are the living one You are God of resurrection Lord We also pray at this time for all my brethren Who are interpreting into different languages And pray for myself We are in need of Your anointing Lord and your grace upon our lives We therefore humble ourselves once again And lift up our eyes to the Lord That you would favor us Pour out your spirit upon us Grant us words, expressions that we need We pray for your Lordship to be over us Holy Spirit And grant us that liberty we need this morning That your word and your counsels may reach us In the power of thy Holy Spirit And therefore Lord We yield ourselves to your Lordship again Help us Sustain us by the power of your resurrection power By the power of the Holy Spirit In every aspect of God Is our humble prayer and submission to you Thank you Father for hearing us and answering And in Jesus most precious and matchless name we pray Amen Amen we thank God for his precious word that he is ministering to us week after week. Bahumul Vachano ke liye abhari hai. Sapta dar sapta wo hamari liye se barat hai. I personally thank the Lord for the way the Spirit of God has been helping me in my own life. In the light of the present word As we read Let's just turn again to the book of Hebrews Chapter 10 Hebrews chapter 10 Verse 31 To save time it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God And as we heard these words were spoken to the New Testament believers Who are saved by the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ This was not written to those who are living under the law in the Old Testament times It 
the burden of the hebrew writer was this that these ones who have been washed by the blood of jesus christ experience the forgiveness and salvation in christ jesus जो यीशु मसीह के लहू के द्वारा धोए गए थे मे नॉट इन एनी वे डिसरिगार्ड उन्होंने पापों की क्षमा उठा दैट सल्वेशन मसीह में दैट इज टू ब्रिंग देम इनटू द फुल सल्वेशन उस उद्धार का अपमान न करें दे मे नॉट डिसरिगार्ड द वर्क ऑफ गॉड दैट हैज बिगन इन देम दैट इट मे आल्सो कम इनटू इट्स कंप्लीशन और परमेश्वर का जो ग्रेट वार्निंग्स आर सीन इन द बुक ऑफ हिब्रूज एंड वी हैव नो टाइम टू गेट इनटू दोस बट देयर इज अ ग्रेट वार्निंग फॉर द न्यू टेस्टामेंट चर्च किताब ने लिखी है द न्यू टेस्टामेंट बिलीवर्स हु आर नेगलेक्टिंग दिस से ग्रेट सल्वेशन और नए नियम के विश्वासियों के लिए ये चेतावनी सो दीस वर्ड्स वर स्पोकन टू बिलीवर्स From Hebrew background, or the Hebrew church, these words were written to them, saying, "You know, in chapter two of Hebrews, we read like this: 'How shall we escape?' The apostle includes himself, and he says, 'How shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation?'" प्रेरित अपने आप को भी सम्मिलित करता है विच एट फर्स्ट बिगैन टू बी स्पोकन बाय द लॉर्ड इस महान एंड वॉज कंफर्म टू अस बाय देम दैट हर्ड हिम स्पीकिंग अबाउट प्रभु के द्वारा कहा गया हाउ शाल वी एसके उन्होंने सुना उनके द्वारा इसकी पुष्टि की गई प्रेरित के विषय में ये कह रहे हम कैसे बच सकेंगे and the hebrew writer says therefore we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard lest any time we should let them slip aur abrani ka likhne wala and he says again in verse 2 for if the word spoken by the angels was steadfast and every transgression and disobedience receive a just recompense of reward how shall we escape again he is speaking relatively about what happened hum kis prakar se and if that is so how can we escape today aur isi prakar se to latmak roop se likhta hai and in chapter 10 verse 29 verse 28 29 ye sath hua to hum kaise he that despised moses lord died without mercy under two or three witnesses 28 aur 29 ayat of how much sorer punishment suppose ye shall he be thought on uh, uh, thought worthy who had trodden under foot the the son of god and that counted the blood of the covenant where it where with he was sanctified an unholy thing and had done and had done despite unto the spirit of grace for we know him that hath said vengeance belongeth unto me i will recompense say the lord and again the lord shall judge his people it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living god so dear brothers and sisters may god really help us to understand the burden of the holy spirit in writing this letter to the new testament believers in the first century parmeshwar ki aatma ke and how relevant it is for us today in these last days कि पहले सती के नए नियम के विश्वासियों को यू नो सो वी हर्ड वी नीड टू रियलाइज वी हैव कम टू द लिविंग गॉड प्रासंगिक है ये अंत के दिनों में हमारे वी हर्ड वेरी क्लियरली वी दिस इज गॉड्स बेसिस ऑफ हिज वर्किंग व्हाट इज स्पेशल एंड दैट इज द पावर ऑफ हिज रेजरेक्शन ही इज अलाइव ये परमेश्वर के काम करने का आधार है सो वी थैंक गॉड फॉर ऑल दैट द लॉर्ड हैज बीन स्पीकिंग टू अस वीक आफ्टर वीक So the word of God makes it very clear to us. Sapta dar sapta jo Parmeshwar hum se bhi aaya hai kya bhari hai. To the true and the living God. Parmeshwar ka vachan spasht kar deta hai hamare liye. We heard last week we are not we are not to reckon with people with teaching or some places 
or anything. But we are to reckon with God. If I refuse the truth, refuse the light that he is giving to me, withhold my obedience to him, and hide things from the Lord, if I am unfaithful in any way, we need to realize we have to do with the living God. It's not with men. And this is primarily something the Lord wants to bring to us. We have come to the living God. He, his basis of, of working is a resurrection. It's life. And that's very very important. We also saw from the book of Joshua chapter 7 how Achan tried to hide things and how God brought it out. God would have spoken to Joshua about it and quietly gone to his tent but we see the mind of God here very clearly that he wanted all Israel to know that he is a living God and nothing hidden from his eyes. He wanted all Israel to know and God's principles of working, the basis of his working is life, resurrection life. Anything that God to do, death, God will deal with, God will work upon. So we know, we heard very clearly in a detailed way about what happened to Achan and how all Israel was affected by one man. And perhaps he thought he can never be traced down to his tent. But God did search that one man down. You know, in all that we see how God works. You know, God is jealous over His church. As the scripture says in the prophets, He will serve Jerusalem with a candle. You know, He will search. He will find out. He will cleanse His church. And washer of every filth. That is God's desire for His church. And He has determined to bring her to that place as we know. Hallelujah. We also heard last week. Very, very clearly. It's not a matter of that we have to reckon with the leaders. Many a time we are found in that realm. But we need to know the final analysis is a matter of reckoning God as a living God. You know, it's not therefore we don't care for the leaders. There are people who live in that realm. It's man's opinion. This is his teaching. This is his interpretation. And we need to remind ourselves as well that we cannot get away that way from the Lord, from the living God. Because the word that comes to us is not from man. It comes from the living God with whom we have to do. So we thank God for everything that God has really ministered to us. You know, we heard very clearly that He knows everything about us. Where can we hide from Him? He knows my fam family life, my personal life, my secular life, my professional life. 
वो हमारे पारिवारिक जीवन को जानता है और पेशागत जीवन को जानता है आई कैन सी द लव ऑफ गॉड विजिटिंग गॉड्स पीपल जो कुछ परमेश्वर ने कहा एक बात देखते हैं। He doesn't want to leave us to ourselves. कि परमेश्वर का प्रेम परमेश्वर But certainly he wants to cleanse and wash the church of Jesus Christ in these end times. And I thank God for that work of the Spirit that has begun in our midst and in our lives. As I said, with much fear. and reverence i share the word Our last week and i stand in the same fear within my heart and reverence shall fear in my heart as i proceed further this morning in our meditation so it is with the living god we have to do apne manan mein hum aage badhne badhne you and i are dealing with the living god hriday mein bhai ke sath और यही जीवित परमेश्वर है जिसके प्रति हम उत्तरदायी एज वी हर्ड इज सच ए कंफर्टिंग थिंग टू नो अवर गॉड इज लिविंग परमेश्वर के साथ व्यवहार करना है वेरी कंफर्टिंग थिंग टू नो दैट एट द सेम टाइम वी आल्सो नीड टू नो ये शांति दायक है कि हमारा परमेश्वर है जानना कि ये हमारा परमेश्वर जीवित परमेश्वर है और उसी के साथ गॉड ये बात भी जानना जरूरी एंड इट्स अ फियरफुल थिंग टू फॉल इनटू हिज हैंड्स वो परमेश्वर है So there is nothing secret nothing hidden uske haathon mein padna nothing that we can cover from him we cannot take a false position many a time we are found in a false position aap nahi sakte aur hum but remember we can never take a position like that before kai bar hum paate hain ki apne aap ko kyun jhooti sthiti mein rakhte there is a living god on the spot all the time as we heard we saw from some 139 sthitiyon mein kabhi nahi aa sakte so let us set aside every self deception har sthan par hai put aside everything that is a falsehood ek so let us face things knowing that our god ever live aur har jhooti baaton ko darkinar kare and that's one thing i would like to once again remind us parmeshwar jeevit parmeshwar wo cheezon ka samna kare It's a terrible word for those who fight against God. एक बात फिर याद दिलाना चाहता हूँ इस चीज को. But it's a very comforting word for those who really love God and want to walk with God. Very comforting, very encouraging. Want to move on today morning again. प्रीति रखते हैं उससे साथ चलते हैं. You know, के लिए बहुत ही शांति दायक वचन है. When we see this so real in the midst of God's people who are serious. in their salvation what we see today in the world out there is hum dekhte hain ki vastavikta ye hai ki parmeshwar ke jan jo you know the world is going its own way apne udhar ke prati aur bahar kya ho raha hum dekhte hain when we look at the history of man it has been centuries of war against the living god ke itihas ko hum dekhte hain centuries of war against the living god aur jeevit parmeshwar ke virodh mein sadiyon se yuddh hota raha hai parmeshwar ke virodh mein and when we look at the times now in which we are living Just every effort in the planet earth today every effort by nations today is to throw this living god out nothing to do with this living god ke dwara jo prachar aur prayas kiye ja rahe hain ki jeevit parmeshwar ko bahar nikal ke fek de is to get rid of the living god This is the effort of every nation every country this is the effort of man on the planet earth today to have nothing to do with the living god har whether it is in the personal life or in the national life yahi prayas hai unko jeevit parmeshwar koi le na there are nations that claim themselves to be christian nations ya rashtriya jeevan 
but every effort is being done by men to throw this god out of their nation national life and personal life इस परमेश्वर को बाहर निकाल के चाहते हैं व्यक्ति और राष्ट्रीय जीवन के द्वारा उनकी यही प्रयास गॉड विल जज द नेशंस इट्स अ फियरफुल थिंग टू फॉल इन द हैंड्स ऑफ द लिविंग गॉड न्याय करे एज वी सी इन द बुक ऑफ रेवलेशन दे विल आस्क इफ परमेश्वर के रॉक्स टू फॉल ऑन देम अनक बात है और हमने प्रकाशित वाक्य में देखा और वे मांग करेंगे कि चट्टाने भयभीत करने वाली चीजें इट्स अ फियरफुल थिंग टू फॉल इन देंड्स ऑफ द लिविंग गॉड एक बात कहना चाहता हूं and therefore i would like to say in the authority of god's word he is not an imaginary god as many think isliye main kehna chahta hu parmeshwar ke vachan ke adhikar mein he is not a traditional god ye ishwar nahi hai jaisa ki bahut se sochte hain he is not god of the religious system paramparik ishwar nahi hai however ancient and all the histories may be He is not God of the religious system. चाहे पुरातन या पुरानी कोई भी इतिहास की क्यों ना हो, but he is the living God. वह धार्मिक प्रणाली का परमेश्वर नहीं है. वह जीवित परमेश्वर है. I would like to say, in the authority of God's word, He holds the nations in His hand. He will judge the nations. परमेश्वर के वचन के अधिकार में कहना चाहता हूँ. वे राष्ट्रों को अपने फियरफुल थिंग टू फॉल इन देंड्स ऑफ द लिविंग न्याय करेगा जीवित परमेश्वर के हाथों में पड़ना भयानक बात है यू नो दे फोर आई वुड लाइक टू से टूडे टू गॉड्स पीपल टू माई सेल्फ एंड टू ऑल ऑफ अस इसलिए मैं कहना चाहता हूं वी कैन नॉट रेसिस्ट गॉड मैं अपने आप से वो सभी से इज देर सम वन अमंगस्ट अस who is resisting god is there someone amongst us who is fighting god is there someone amongst us who is rebelling against god koi hai hum mein se parmeshwar ka and imagines in his own heart or in own in in her own heart और अपने हृदय में कल्पना करता हूं एंड थिंकिंग विद इन हिम सेल्फ और हर सेल्फ दैट आई कैन गेट अराउंड गॉड या सोचता हो डिस्पाइट दैट आई कैन गेट बेटर ऑफ गॉड डिस्पाइट इसके बजाय and i would like to say honestly to such ones uh, today usse behtar main cheeze pa lunga it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living god imandari ke sath unse kehna chahta hu main ye bhayanak baat hai you know don't think we can change god's mind don't think we can get around ana sochein ki hum parmeshwar ke vicharon ko badal sakte hain Yes, you know, may God really help us, my brothers and sisters. As I said, with great awe and reverence, I share this word with all of us today. Yes, sir. I have said. And therefore, I want to say one thing. Man, brother, or other, with this word, can you rejoice? 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 You are in the hands of the living God. Kya aap anandit? Is a direct question that Kya God is putting forward to all of us. Kya aap Parmeshwar ke hathon mein hain? 
can we rejoice that we are in the hands of the living God? And I want to say that there is no need to be afraid of that. That therefore, this is what David said, I would rather fall into the hands of the living God than to be in the hands of men. And I want to say, may God bring us to that place that we would have that joy of being in the hands of the living God. You know, it's a blessed thing to be in the hands of the living God. It is something that can be enjoyed as we look at the men of God in the past. As we heard, it's such a comforting thing on one hand, but it's a terrible thing on the other hand. But for the believing, for those who have been bought by the blood of Jesus Christ, for His true disciples, it is a matter of joy and rejoicing that we are in the hands of the living God. But for the unbelieving, the unfaithful, it's neither a welcoming thing nor a blessed thing to know that they have to do with the living God. But for us, oh, may this blessed assurance come into us that it's a matter of joy and rejoicing that we are in the hands of the living God. And therefore today I want to take us a little further. As we heard, Faith brings us into the basis of his working, which is resurrection life. You know, where everything is living, that's what a resurrection talks about. Everything is living. Hallelujah. As I said, can we rejoice that we are in the hands of the living God? It is something to be enjoyed by His children. That our God is a living God. You know, and thus, it brings us, you know, to a place of a living relationship. You know, the, the joy of, you know, being in the hands of the living God is that it speaks about a living relationship in our lives. As we have heard so many times, He is the living God. The fact that He is the living God is intended to bring everything into a living state amongst God's people. Everything is to be brought into the living state amongst God's people. Hallelujah. Everything takes its character from the Lord. In this very sense, everything takes his character from him.
and the truth that he is a living god charitra pati hai that means that relationship that we have come into when we were born again that is intended to be a living relationship jab hamara naya janm hota hai ya naya janm hua aur uska irada yahi tha hallelujah hum jeevit rishte mein aaye i i want the holy spirit to come in hallelujah oh that we make the that the lord may help us to quiet in our own spirits quiet in our hearts aur prabhu mari sahayata kare ki hum apni aatma mein shant ho jaye in humility we may hear his voice today anubhav mein aaye that relationship that we are come into him come into with our lord when we were born again when we were raised up to life that is intended to be a living relationship aur jab mrityu se jeevan mein humne pravesh kiya tha it is so sad that today many preachers preach christ as a commodity ye bahut dukhad baat hai a thing rather than a person bahut sare prachara ka jo hai yesu masi ko vastuo ke roop mein instead of presenting him as a person bajaye ki ek vyakti ke and come into christ is a relationship aur bajaye ki usko vyakti ke roop mein prastut kare there's a distorted masi ke sath jo gospel that is being preached today the scripture is very clear he that had the son had the life charit kiya jata hai it is his person is vachan spasht hai as many as received him ke paas jeevan hai it's a matter of him woh hai uska vyakti hai it's a matter of a relationship aur jitno ne usse grahan kiya we were without god and christ in our lives but we who are far away are brought nigh by the blood of christ हम बिना परमेश्वर और मसीह के थे के द्वारा पास बुलाए गए कम इन द फैमिली ऑफ गॉड हो एवरीथिंग एवरी स्क्रिप्चर पॉइंट इन टू वन थिंग रिलेशनशिप हम परमेश्वर के परिवार में शामिल हुए द रिलेशनशिप इज इंटेंडेड टू बी अ लिविंग रिलेशनशिप और रिश्तों का इरादा जो है वो जीवित रिश्ते से है इट इज सैड इन मेनी लाइफ इट्स नो मोर रिलेशनशिप और ये दुखद बात है और बहुत सारे जीवन में रिलेशनशिप इज ऑलमोस्ट डेड उनके रिश्ते मृत हैं many do not care about that relationship this relationship with the living god in our lives run in so many directions aur ye rishte jeevit parmeshwar ke saath they run in wide range and if we really look into those wide range of things or this relationship that run into many directions yadi hum dhyan se if we are honest with the living god today morning aur yadi in sambandho ko rishto ko dekhe to if we are honest with the holy spirit who is given to us to help us yadi hum aaj ke subah imandar hain parmeshwar ke prati we will realize that it's not a living relationship in many directions in many areas is baat ko samajh payenge ki kai desao mein hamare zindagi ke hamare jeevit rishte nahi hai the scripture says christ is the head of the family where is his headship where is god's government in the family kya kehta hai ki masi parivar ka shiromani hai 
और कहा है उसकी हस्बैंड डज वन थिंग वाइफ डज नदर थिंग कहा है परमेश्वर का प्रशासन चिल्ड्रन डू समथिंग एल्स पति कहता है आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट अनबिलीवर्स और बच्चे को आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट द चर्चेस आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट आवर सेल्फ मैं नहीं कह रहा हूं Is there a livingness of his headship? हम अपने विषय में कह रहे हैं। This relationship runs in every direction. It runs in in you know in every it it comes into every area of our life. और हमारे जिंदगी के कई क्षेत्रों में and we need to acknowledge this. With the help of the Holy Spirit, accept. इस बात को हमें पहचानना है। पवित्र आत्मा की सांस। Consider our worship. स्वीकार कर। There is a form there wherein we accept that our God is a living God. It's a form. और हर प्रकार का एक प्रारूप है। हमारे परमेश्वर का वी एक्सेप्ट दैट रिलीजियस फॉर्म विच साइज इज अ लिविंग गॉड देर फॉर वी मे नॉट हैव एनी ऑब्जेक्ट बिफोर अस और हम उसे कहते हैं जीवित परमेश्वर है वी हैव नो क्रॉस वी हैव नो इमेजेस वी हैव नथिंग हमारे पास कोई मूर्त रूप तो सामने नहीं है बट द क्वेश्चन इज और कोई क्रॉस नहीं है Is there a livingness in that worship? पर प्रश्न है ऐसा है। Is that relationship there, or it just something that is being spoken, you know, doctrinally amongst us? There are certain religious rites connected with the living God. ये बोला गया है जो एक शिक्षा से दांत के रूप में We may be involved in it, such as giving to God tithes and offerings, perhaps the table of the Lord, many rites. Or कुछ परमिशन को देना, दशवांस और भेटे, प्रभु भोज. Many things we are supposed to be doing, And the question is that there are so many things I can bring in, but I'm just bringing one or two just to remind us: Is there a livingness? Is, does it speak about a relationship in your giving to God? Is there a relationship there in your singing, in your worship, in your coming to God's house? Whether you are physically coming to the house of God or you are meeting with God in your own house, आराधना में जीवतता है, attending to the virtual gathering, आप परमेश्वर के भवन में आते हैं, do you honor and respect Him as a living God? और या फिर आज सभाविक सभाओं में आप क्यों प्रस्तुति हैं? Or you are happy you are away from the pastor, the leaders, the the physical gathering, so I can be whatever I want to be. या फिर आप खुश हैं। I can lie down and relax. I can be in any posture. दूर हैं और वास्तव में सब वास्तव दूर हैं। जो जो भी कुछ करना चाहता मैं करूं, लेट जाऊं और किसी भी आसन में बैठा रहूं। No wonder Malachi said, "You honor your governor, but why do you not honor me when you come to my house?" नहीं है ये मलकी कहता है कि तुम अपने हाकिम का तो आदर करते हो। My dear brothers and sisters, तो मेरा आदर क्यों नहीं करते जब तू मेरे भवन में आते हो? God is speaking to those who are open to hear Him. Don't be angry with yourself. Forgive yourself. I see by the Spirit there are some of you are angry with yourself. अपने आप से खपा ना हो. अपने आप को शमा करें. And you're angry with others. And you're ultimately angry with God as well. Or you're ultimately angry with God as well. May God deliver us from today. 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 May God deliver us from
you lost the joy you lost the smile wo aap parmeshwar se bhi khafa ho jaye परमेश्वर आओ जब आपको छुटकारा दे यो बिकम अ फॉर्म इन मेनी थिंग्स आनंद खो दिया है मुस्कुराहट खो दी है तुमने इट्स गॉड्स लव दैट इज कमिंग टू यू टुडे टू डिलीवर यू टू सेट यू फ्री लव ऑफ गॉड इज नॉकिंग एट द डोर ऑफ योर वेरी लाइफ और तुम्हें आज छुटकारा देगा लेट हिम ब्रिंग टू लाइफ दैट व्हिच इज डाइंग तुम्हारी जिंदगी के द्वार पे परमेश्वर खटखटा रहा है ओ मे गॉड हेल्प अस और जो चीजें मर रही हैं उसे वो जीवन दे रहा है परमेश्वर हमारी सहायता है लुक एट अवर डिवोशंस ओ मे गॉड हेल्प अस और हम अपने मनों को देखें व्हाट मेजर वी हैव द एक्नॉलेजमेंट ऑफ गॉड इन मेनी एरियाज ऑफ आवर लाइफ्स किस अनुपात में हमारे परमेश्वर का जानना पहचाना हो रहा है हमारे जीवन के क्षेत्रों में इफ यू आर ऑनेस्ट आई एम श्योर द होली स्पिरिट विल बी राइट देर ऑन द स्पॉट टू हेल्प यू एंड मी टूडे मॉर्निंग यदि आप ईमानदार हैं वी विल सी मेनी थिंग्स आर शॉर्ट ऑफ पवित्र एंड लिविंग रिलेशनशिप विद गॉड देखेंगे मेनी थिंग्स आर reduced to a form in our lives parmeshwar ke sath sachche rishton ka abhav hai kai zindagiyon ke chhetron mein aur kai cheeze hamare can you be honest with god today cheezon ka prarup bante kya aaj parmeshwar ke prati can you be honest with god today क्या परमेश्वर के प्रति आप ईमानदार हो सकते वी से दैट ही इज द लिविंग गॉड वॉट ई से जब हम कहते हैं कि वो जीवित परमेश्वर है दोज हुव रिलेटेड टू हिम शुड लिव और वो क्या कहता है जो उससे जुड़े हुए हैं बाई से दैट ही इज द लिविंग गॉड उनको जीवित रहना चाहिए इट सिंपली मीन्स दैट those of us who are related to him should live parmeshwar hai iska seedha matlab should always have a living relationship jo se sambandhit hai unhe jeevit rehna hai aur wo jeevit rahe you know what he says in john chapter 14 ye unke saath sada jeevit sambandh hote hai gospel of john aur yahun rachit su samachar 14 adhyay mein kya john chapter 14 yahun rachit su samachar verse 19 ye a little while and the world seeth me no more but ye see me because i live ye shall live also hallelujah because i live ye shall live also hallelujah kyunki main jeevit hu it's a clear cut tum bhi jeevit raho indication that a living relationship with god is possible because i live he shall live also aur jeevit sambandh jeevit parmeshwar ke sath sambhav hai all those who are related to him should live jeevit hu aur tum bhi jeevit hoge aur wo sab jo usse sambandhit hain ve jeevit rahenge i know the most of us who are hearing this morning the word of the lord have this knowledge that our god is a living god unhe ye gyan hai ki hamara parmeshwar and we also have a living relationship with the living god in some measure और किसी अनुपात में जीवित परमेश्वर के साथ हमारे जीवित संबंध भी हैं इन सम मेजर इन सम एरियाज समाइम्स और किसी अनुपात में बट कुछ गॉड्स डिजायर इन सेंडिंग दिस वर्ल्ड इज 
that we may come into the joy and rejoicing that we are in the hands of the living God. Because He lives, we shall live also. We will come into that living relationship with the Lord. In every direction, in every area. And it's my prayer that we all would desire and say, Lord, bring us to that place. That we may experience the Lord coming into closer touch with our innermost being. Innermost being that He knows me more than anyone else. Not just in saying, but in reality. Remember, it is not a relationship with somebody who died, but it's a relationship with someone who is alive. Hallelujah. is alive. It's not a relationship with some dead order of things. But a living person. How important it is when we come into corporate worship. Oh, that God would deliver us from every mentality and attitude. We are not coming into an order of things. Not order of worship. The other day we went to meet a person and he said, you know, virtual meeting is going on because there's no physical gathering. So, you know, as we do in our church system, we gather together, somebody does this, somebody reads the epistle, somebody reads the gospel, and then somebody has the prayer. You know, uh, the order is followed. And when it comes to a preacher, we thought of going to the net and get any preacher. When we used to go to our physical gathering, we hardly used to get a word because the preacher that is said there, he, he doesn't really speak. So we can choose great men of God like Billy Graham or any such men. So order of things are going on even during these times of lockdown where we have no permission to come together. Order is followed. We can also be trapped in those things. God is sending this word because he loves us. And the Lord said to the churches in the book of Revelation, You think you are alive, but you are dead. Oh, may God help us. Our relationship is not with some order of things. This is how we do. That this is how we are told. Oh, there's a great deliverance here. In our choices, in our decisions, in our priorities. 
if we ever realize what we have to do is with a living god things will become alive in us yadi kabhi humne samjha ho ki kya karna hai hum jeevit why in our priorities god is at the last jeevit ho jayegi why in all our decisions we discuss or uh, we go to him at the last when we are unwell and sick why do we go at the last to god that's where we must go first aur jab hum bimar padte hain to kyon parmeshwar ke paas ant mein jate hain aur yahan to hume pratham sar pratham jana you need to trust him more than your doctor you have to trust him more than your health system aur chikitsak se zyada hame usko bharosa karna chahiye स्वास्थ्य प्रणाली से अधिक हमें उसको भरोसा होना चाहिए यू हैव टू हैव फेथ इन ही मोर देन इन योर बैंक बैलेंस और आपका भरोसा उसको होना चाहिए वी कैन बी सो लिविंग विद आवर बैंक बैलेंस आवर इन्वेस्टमेंट्स आवर सेविंग्स हाउ वेल आई वी आर और बिना निवेश बिना निवेश और बैंक के शेष राशि के बिना जी सकते हैं But I want to tell you, हमारे बचत के बिना हम कैसे जी सकते हैं? He is our inheritance. He is our reward. मैं कहना चाहता हूँ, वो हमारी मिराश है. The relationship. वो हमारा प्रतिफल है. That's what the Lord said unto Abraham. I am your reward. और जो संबंध है. I am. जैसा कि अब्राहम से उसने कहा. Not the land that you are possessed. I am. मैं तेरा प्रतिफल हूं मैं नॉट इवन द सन जो भूमि जो ग्रहण करने जा रहा है पर कि बल्कि मैं माई ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स बल्कि दिस रिलेशनशिप इज अ लिविंग रिलेशनशिप पर इट इज नॉट अ डॉक्ट्राइनल रिलेशनशिप ज्यादा मैं इट इज नॉट जस्ट अ लीगल रिलेशनशिप मैन यू लिव बाई दैट कानूनी I am born again. I am a child of God. Uh, God is my living God. You know, I am legally His. He is mine. But there is no livingness. Or, I permission to send. God never intended this to be a legal relationship, but He wanted this to be a living relationship. No, 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 those who went on by the legality of things god said god can raise up children from even the stones aur jo cheezon ki kanuni baaton pe chale jate he wanted a living relationship patron se santan paida kar sakta hai oh may god help us wo chahta hai ki jeevit rishte ho my dear brothers and sisters परमेश्वर सहायता करे मेरे भाइयों बहनों एंड मे आई आस्क यू एस मच आई आस्क माई सेल्फ हैव यू दैट लिविंग रिलेशनशिप से पूछता हूं जैसा कि मैं अपने आप से भी पूछता हूं क्या कोई जीवित रिश्ता है have you that living relationship in every area of your life my life this is very important pratyek jeevan ke kshetra mere aur aap very very important brothers and sisters aur ye bahut hi mahatvapurna hai are you following a system bahut hi mahatvapurna mere bhaiyo bahano 
आर यू फॉलोइंग इन ऑर्डर क्या आप प्रणालियों के रीति रिवाजों का अनुसरण कर रहे हैं क्या किसी रीति गत बातों का अनुसरण कर रहे हैं आई कैन से स्टैंडिंग हियर बाय द स्पिरिट ऑफ गॉड और मैं कह सकता हूं मेनी यहां खड़े होके मेनी हैव लॉस दैट लाइवली रिलेशनशिप विद द लिविंग आत्मा में डेड इन मेनी एरियाज देयर इज नो रिलेशनशिप विद द लिविंग ईश्वर के साथ खो गए मर गए कई जीवन के क्षेत्रों में कोई संबंध नहीं जीव परमेश्वर के साथ डोंट बी ट्रैप्ड बाय और ट्रैप्ड इनटू द लीगल रिलेशनशिप देर आर पीपल हु केम एंड सेट टू लॉर्ड लॉर्ड He said to them, "I never knew you. I never knew you." And Prabhu said, "He said, 'Prabhu, Prabhu, I never knew you as my bride.' I never knew you as my bride. 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 There was no relationship of a bridegroom and of a bride. There is no place for my headship over your life. Or dula dulhan ka koi rista hi nahi tha. You never reckoned that you have to do with me as your your bridegroom. It was all centered around yourself, your satisfaction. You want to do. You did. And I ask. I must ask all of us today. Have you that relationship, a living relationship? Are you following a system? Are you following an order of things? Or are you in living relationship with the living God in every direction of your life? Kya aap jivte par Meshwar ke saath jivit rishto mein hai? The Lord desires. Or jivan ke prate ke disau mein aur chhetro mein aapke jivit sambandh hai. That we have such relationship with Him. A relationship that shall be living all the way long. Hallelujah. All the way long. This is what he longs for. हमारे रिश्ते उसके साथ सारे रिश्तों से सारे रास्तों से होके बने हुए रहें और यही उसकी अभिलाषा है पूरे रास्ते भर. Many a time, many a time, we see this. कई बार और कई बार यू नो समटाइम्स वेन ई टॉक टू फैमिलीज पीपल से द हजबेंड से आई एम डूइंग एवरीथिंग फॉर हर आई एम डूइंग दिस आई एम डूइंग दैट परिवारों से बातचीत करते हैं वाइफ से आई एम डूइंग दिस आई एम डूइंग दैट फॉर हिम और ये करता हूँ और वो करता हूँ डूइंग थिंग्स कैन बी अ रूटीन पत्नी कहती कि मैं उसके लिए थिंग्स एट यू डू और चीजों को करना बट देर इज नो रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द हस्बैंड एंड वाइफ जो चीज आप करते हैं वो नित्य क्रिया पर पति आई कम अक्रॉस दो थिंग्स मिनी टाइम एमंग्स गॉड्स पीपल और इस रूटीन वुड नॉट मीन रिलेशनशिप आप परमेश्वर के लोगों के जीवन को मैंने देखा Or there are things we do because we have been doing. We are uh, uh, we are to do it, so we do it. That doesn't mean relationship. Or हमें करना है इसलिए हम करते हैं. Oh, may God deliver us, brothers and sisters. रिश्ते हैं. परमेश्वर activities would not mean livingness. It doesn't mean. That we have a living relationship with God. 
इट कैन बी फॉर्म ऑफ थिंग मतलब इट कैन बी मेयर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज और रूटीन ऑफ थिंग्स दैट वी आर यूज के साथ these are not signs of our relations ho sakta hai keval zimmedari ho sakti hai aur nitya kar jisse hum may god save us today aur ye chinn if we hear his voice rishte ke nahi parmeshwar bachaye let's hold on our hearts yadi uski awaaz aaj aap sun rahe hain and let me encourage you today brothers and sisters it's a great thing to know that you have an access to the living god sahit karna chahta hu aur ye janna badi baat hai ki tumhare tumhare paas jeevit parmesh tak parmeshwar tak pahunch hai it is not a small thing it's a great thing ye koi choti baat nahi it's a great privilege to know that baat. you have an access to the living god aur ye bada so read in hebrews We can come कि तुम्हारे पास जीवित परमेश्वर तक एक पहुंच इन द टाइम ऑफ अवर नीड इब्रानी की पत्री तो द वन हु इज एबल टू पास आ सकते हैं सकर हमारी जरूरत के समय हालेलुया यू नो मेनी पीपल इन द वर्ल्ड डू नॉट नो व्हिच गॉड दे मस्ट गो टू इन द टाइम्स ऑफ देयर नीड The last week somebody was asking someone बहुत सारे लोग हैं जिन्हें व्हिच गॉड शुड आई प्रे हमें किसी ईश्वर के पास जाना है और पिछले सप्ताह किसी ने पूछा किस ईश्वर से मैं प्रार्थना करूं वेन पीपल डू नॉट नो वे टू गो विच गॉड टू कॉल अपॉन इज इन नॉट अ ग्रेट थिंग और जब लोग नहीं जानते कि टू नो दैट यू एंड आई हैव एक्सेस टू द लिविंग गॉड क्या ये बड़ी बात नहीं टू द लिविंग गॉड ये जानते हुए कि तुम्हारे पास एक पहुंच है जीव से परमेश्वर तक पहुंच वेन यू डू नॉट नो से परमेश्वर वॉट इज टू बी डन तब जब तुम नहीं जानते वेल यू हैव अ लिविंग गॉड ये क्या करना है यू हैव द लिविंग गॉड तुम्हारे पास एक जीवित परमेश्वर वी कैन गो टू हिम तुम्हारे पास जीवित कैन आस्क हम उसके पास ही इज ओपन ही इज एक्सेबल मेनी अ टाइम वी हैव क्लोज द डोर वो सुगम है अवर लॉजिक एंड रीजन हैज पुट द शट डाउन वी हैव शट हिम आउट हमारे तर्क हमारी बुद्धियां बाई आवर रीजन कर देती हैं अवर लॉजिक Our intellect, our education, our mentality, our education, 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 You don't have to take an appointment with this this living God. Hallelujah. Today, everywhere for everything, take an appointment. But here is one. Twenty-four-seven accessible. The one who is living. You are not talking to an automated machine. You are not talking to a system. You're not talking to a digital uh, uh, a device. आप किसी प्रणाली से बात नहीं कर रहे हैं. When we are tired today, आप किसी you call anybody any call center, you are in line, you are in waiting. जब हम आज थक गए. This is your number. और जब किसी call center को call करते हैं तो वो कहता है कि आप तो You are not tired because you want to get your job done. प्रतीक्षा में हैं. Wait thirty minutes. The line gets cut off. You call them again. You are in queue. Or pratiksha kare. Sometimes the queue doesn't go short, but it goes longer. Phone karte hain. Or usko kaha jata hai ki aap katar mein. Beyond your logic. Or kahi baar katar lambi hoti, choti nahi. But here is a God. 
आपके तर्कों के परे होती है देर इज नो लाइन हियर यहां एक परमेश्वर देर इज नो क्यू हियर यहां कोई कतार नहीं देर इज नो वेटिंग हियर और यहां कोई प्रतीक्षा नहीं In that और यहां पे कोई कतार नहीं बट द एक्सेशन इज अवेलेबल और इस अर्थ में ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन ही इज एक्सेसिबल ही इज ओपन क्योंकि सुगम उपलब्धता है दे कैन आस्क हिम और जो भी इज अलाउ सात दिन सुगम है वो उपलब्ध यू एंड आई कैन हैव आवर डीलिंग्स विद हिम इज इन इन अ मैटर ऑफ रिजॉइसिंग अमेन इज इन द मैटर ऑफ रिजॉइसिंग that we are in the hands of the living god aur uske sath hai ye to anand ki baat hai oh i wish some of us would say hallelujah and bless the lord aur main chahta hu ki koi kahe hallelujah aur kahe ki praise the lord thank you jesus parmeshwar ki stuti he is there bahut bahut dhanyawad वो वहां है इज अवेलेबल फॉर अस और वो हमारे लिए उपलब्ध है वी हैव एन एक्सेस टू हिम लेट मी रीड स्क्रिप्चर फ्रॉम द बुक ऑफ हिब्रूस चैप्टर फोर हमारे लिए एक सुगमता है और इब्रानी की पत्री का चौथा अध्याय में पढ़ना चाहता हूं हिब्रूस चैप्टर फोर वर्स फोर्टीन टू सिक्सटीन सींग देन दैट वी हैव ए ग्रेट हाई प्रीस्ट दैट इज पास इन टू हेवन जीस इज द सन ऑफ गॉड लेट अस होल्ड फास्ट आवर प्रोफेशन फॉर वी हैव नॉट एन हाई प्रीस्ट which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities but was all in but was in all points tempted like as we are yet without sin let us therefore come boldly to the throne of his of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need we read another episode if any man lack wisdom let him ask of god there is no time limit given let him ask of god ke paas guti ki kami ho to parmeshwar se let him ask of god hum ne patriyon mein padha na koi samay ki pavadi nahi kisi bhi samay parmeshwar se mange parmeshwar se mange hallelujah the mask of god it's available to us aur parmeshwar se mange aur we have dealings with the living god he is accessible he is open he is available hamare vyavhar jeev ke parmeshwar ke sath hain aur wo in other words he says come my children enjoy that living relationship with me aao mere bachcho come in the door is open mere jeevte rishton mein enjoy that living relationship Aau. with the living god aur dwar khula hua hai this is how this is what he wills jeevte rishte mein aap aanandit this is the will of god for our lives aur ye uski ichcha hai और हमारे जिंदगियों के लिए उसकी इच्छा है जीवते परमेश्वर की लेट मी टेल यू इन वन सेंटेंस द डिजायर ऑफ गॉड्स हार्ट और एक बार इज दैट यू एंड आई शुड ट्रीट हिम एज बीइंग अ लिविंग परमेश्वर के हृदय की चाह हाल लोया 
The desire of God's heart is that you and I should treat him as being a living God and live in that living relationship with him at all times, not at chosen times. उसके साथ जीवित रिश्ते में हम जिए और सदा के लिए और कोई चुने हुए समय में नहीं अगेन द हिब्रू राइटर सेस इन चैप्टर 11 एंड वर्स 6 और इब्रानी का लिखने वाला कहता है व्हिच स्क्रिप्चर वी ऑल नो व्हिच सेस और छठ भी है बट विदाउट फेथ इट इज इंपॉसिबल टू प्लीज हिम for he that cometh to him must believe that he is and he and that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him that diligently he is the rewarder of them who diligently seek him जो यत्न से खोजते वो उनको प्रतिफल देता है he that cometh to God must believe that he is God. That he is, as we saw before. That means that he is as he is. I am not getting into many translation for want of time. We have seen the scripture many times before. Must believe that he is as he is. No change in it. As the eternal one. And not only that, as he is, he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Rewarder. What does that mean? Let me just read one or two translations to Verse 6. But without faith it is impossible to please and be sat and be satisfactory to him. For whoever is amplified, for whoever would come near to God must necessarily believe that God exists and that he is the rewarder of those who earnestly and diligently seek him. Reward that he is a rewarder of those who earnestly and diligently seek him. Or who like to read from NLT. It says, um, and it is impossible to please God without faith. Anyone who wants to come to him must believe that God exists and that he rewards. He rewards. I'd like to read from NCV again. Another translation. Without faith, no one can please God. Anyone who comes to God must believe that He is real and he, that He rewards those who truly want to find Him. He rewards. What does that mean? We seek Him. We come to Him. So when we believe and come to him as he is, that he is there. Or विश्वास करते हैं कि वो है, और वो वहाँ है. Without faith, it is impossible to please him, and he that cometh to him must believe that he is. Amen. बिना विश्वास के उसको प्रसन्न करना. Whether it is in your prayer. It's your devotional time. Or when we come together for worship, he that cometh to him must believe that he is. You are not coming to face to face with an empty space. You are not coming in an open universe. You are not coming in an empty universe. You are not coming to an empty place. How important. 
और खालिस्तान में हम नहीं आए हैं हाउ टेरिबली डिसीव वी आर He that cometh to him must believe that he is. और कितना भयानक तरीके से हम में धामे धोखा हुआ. He is. और जो उसके पास आता है और आना चाहता है. He is as he is. उसको विश्वास करना है कि वो है. And he is the reward. और वो है. और वो है जैसा वो है. When I come, I am coming to him. He is there alive. I have access to him. He is there for me. आना चाहता हूं और वो जीवित है वो वहां है और मुझे उस तक पहुंचने का सुगम मार्ग है और वो मुझे सुनने के लिए है और बिना विश्वास के संभव नहीं है परमेश्वर को प्रसन्न करना माई ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स वी आर कमिंग टू अविंग पर्सन वी बिलीव दैट ही इज मेरे भाइयों बहनों एंड देर इज नथिंग व्यक्ति के पास आ रहा है और यह विश्वास करते हैं कि वो है और कुछ भी ऐसा नहीं जो स्पष्ट है बट दिब राइटर अंडरलाइन वन थिंग हियर एनी वन हु कम्स टू गॉड मस्ट बिलीव दैट ही इज रियल लाइक करता है और वो सच्चा है यत्न करके खोजते हैं डेलीजेंटली देता है You know, every time when I come to the Lord, I must have this assurance that He is a rewarder. And every time when I come to the Lord, I must have this assurance that He is a rewarder. And every time when I come to the Lord, I must have this assurance that He is a rewarder. And every time when I come to the Lord, I must have this assurance that He is a rewarder. And every time when I come to the Lord, I must have this assurance that He is a rewarder. And every time when I come to the Lord, I must have this assurance that He is a rewarder. And every time when I come to How far does your faith carry you? That's a question that we all need to answer. और कितना दूर तक आपका विश्वास आपको लाता है? He is the rewarder of them who diligently seek Him in faith. It's impossible to please God without faith. और जो विश्वास How far does जो विश्वास के साथ उसे खोजते हैं यत्न करके वो प्रतिफल पाते हैं और विश्वास के बिना प्रसन्न करना उससे अन होना है और कितने दूर तक आपका विश्वास आपको लेके आता है ओ मे गॉड हेल्प अस हाउ फार डस योर बिलीफ कैरी यू परमेश्वर हमारी सहायता करे और कितने दूर तक आपका विश्वास आपको Your faith take you in seeking God. Many a times we are limited. Parmeshwar ko khujne mein leke aata. Many a time we are limited. Kai baar hum simit ho jaate hain. Aur kai baar are we persistent in our seeking? When the Son of Man comes back, will he find the faith, the persistent faith we heard about? Diligently seek him. Oh, it's my prayer. The time is running out. May God really help us. If I don't stop here, then it's difficult to stop even after half an hour more. I would rather stop here. Oh man, God, intervene in His great love in your life, and I want to tell you, it's a matter of joy and rejoicing that we are in the hands of the living God. Because He lives, we can live also. Oh, may God help us. Are things reduced to a form in your life? Permission, our side, to carry. And mine. It's a joy that we have the living God on our side. It's a matter of joy and rejoicing 
we are in the hands of the living god he wants to make everything living in our lives a relationship that's living not legal aur har ek cheez ko and it's my prayer wo jeevit is my prayer i'm sure the holy spirit at point finger at some of us in our situation our relationship with god with one another in the family ke upar parmeshwar ka atma jo ungli kendrit kar raha hai there's no living us ek dusre ke sath parivar ke sath aur parmeshwar ke sath hamare rishte may god deliver us unme jeevant sambandh not legalism not legally but livingly parmeshwar mein chutkara a living relationship may god deliver us today by the power of his word jeevit ko the power of his holy spirit hamare jeevit sambandh ho you know parmeshwar ke paas aate hain hame parmeshwar ke vachan ki samarth will our faith carry us ki aatma ki samarth main yah samapt karunga kitna dur tak hamara vishwas hame le jata hai god willing further about this seeking and the relationship with the living god parmeshwar ne chaha next week god willing shall we all stand up in his presence hum aage dekhenge aur parmeshwar ke sath hamare jeevit rishte ko parmeshwar chaha to aane wale saptah mein hum dekhenge parmeshwar ki upasthiti mein hum khade ho jayenge being god today or will everything be just a form of things even today and god is merciful he can turn everything dead into life today that's the basis of his working the the base of his working is the power of resurrection you have an access but we are put shutters he becomes the last priority we go to him at last when everything else is not working out then we go to him that's not a living relationship living relationship tells go to him first hallelujah thank you jesus May God deliver us today by the word of God. He has sent the word to deliver you and me. It's a terrible thing to fall into the hands of the living God. But I want to tell you it's a joy and rejoicing to be in the hands of the living God. On the other hand, May God help us. May God help us brothers and sisters. Let things which are dead and dying come to life again. Let the power of resurrection come in. Let's truly repent, be honest with God. That things are more legal and not living. form of things hallelujah give place to him let's humble ourselves as we prayed right at the beginning let the word and the spirit of god quieten our hearts and bring our spirit into humility to receive his living word refuse not the light be obedient and see the salvation of god today itself in your personal life in your family and other areas of your life he is accessible available 24/7 what a relationship but it should be living that's he's that's what he is looking for his desire is that hallelujah and he's a reward
He is rewarded. He will reward you. Yes. Are you diligent? Are you diligent about it? He is rewarded. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your precious word. We thank you, Lord, for your love that is visiting us today. We thank you for your word that is able to deliver us. Oh God, help us to humble ourselves, repent and be honest with you, Lord. Help us to let down our gods, Lord. And bow before you as the man of God said. Help us Lord. Help us Lord. Help us Lord. That's the prayer of my heart. Lord Jesus. Many things are reduced to form and order. Life is ebbing out of many things of God. It's no more living. Whether they be relationships, things in the family or outside, personal life, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help my, help my brothers and sisters. Lord, this relationship with you will be a matter of joy and rejoicing. Because it's a living relationship. Bring us to that place. To know that you are there. You are there, Lord. More than any man. Oh, Lord, you can be closer to any man in our life. Help us, Lord. Holy Spirit. We want to submit to your ministry in our lives. Which is to reveal the son unto us. Because he lives. We shall live also. Hallelujah. We shall live also in that living relationship. With the one who ever liveth. Hallelujah. Lord. Surrender our lives to you this morning. The light of your word. Holy Spirit. Help us. In our prayer. In our submission. Oh God. We want to remain yielded to thy spirit. And to thy word. In the coming days as well. We thank you Father. We thank you. For your mercies. Your visitation. In our lives and in our midst. Change us. Transform us. Deliver us from everything that is of the self. Bring us to the reality of. The lively relationship with you. And with. One another in the body of Christ. Thank you father. Give you the glory. Give you the praise. Continue to abide with us. And lead us and guide us this week. And help us to gather in thy house again. To continue to worship you and to meditate upon your word. Thank you Father. Bless you with all our hearts. In Jesus most precious and matchless name we pray. Amen.